There we go. Uh, okay. I had never played or seen anyone play Ace Attorney games before a few days ago on this stream. I found out they have the first game released on the iPhone app store, so I bought it. Now when I play it, I read it. I read the voices in Anomaly's voices. Aw, thanks, Billy. Take that as a great compliment. And yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I had some uh, weird problems with uh, the emulator. It got stuck after a couple of seconds. Hopefully, we won't have that now. Uh, should be better. Okay. So, now, 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 put on some porn. Nah. Who needs porn, dude? What, do you masturbate or something? Are you gay? You like penises so, so much, you have to touch yourself? Is that how gay you are? Oh my god. Get a load of this guy. Can't stop touching dicks, huh? Okay, uh, from safe point. Are you playing 20 minutes overtime? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. But you got like, a couple of days ago, I played, like, almost uh, about three hours. So, if anything, I should get some, some downtime to rest. Okay. So, uh, let's just get going. Wasted enough time. Just please keep up in the thread if anyone wants the link, let me know. Uh, okay. Oh, we were just pressing her. HOLD IT! You can hardly call the knife decisive evidence. Link? Hold on. Oh, thanks Captain Nick. You beat me to it. You can hardly call the knife decisive evidence. <clears throat> fingerprints on the knife could very well be a clever camouflage. Vind, what about the button? The button? It's clear from the crime scene that the victim and the murderer fought. And during the fight, the killer ripped the button from the Jammy Ninja's costume. You're talking about this button, correct? That bet button was found in the plates of Matt's Hakama, isn't that correct? I would think that makes it very decisive evidence. Looks like you were outfoxed again, Mr. Wright. Uh, anyway, the knife doesn't prove a thing. Please fix your testimony. I can't stand the sight of men who can't gracefully accept his defeat. Hmm. Thank goodness Mia can still look at me. With an icy stare, yes. Smash! Miss Andrews, for Mr. Wright's sake, please add this information to your testimony. Okay, uh, let's keep pressing. Hold it! And how do you know that? When the end of the threads on the button and the costume were matching up, they were found to fit together perfectly, or so I heard. Mm, I've heard that before too. But why would Miss Andrews know about this case down to such a fine detail? Don't look at me like that. Just because I'm prepared and you are not. <sighs> I thought I had her this time for sure. If there's anything to trip her to trip her up on, it has to be here, but where and what? And where we're starting, okay. Let's go again. But I'm Matt's manager, so oh okay. Let's just press this, and then we'll be back to the start. Hold it! But what you really did was was tap that guy in the back, didn't you? At the worst possible time. Yeah. Objection! Who's to say she really stabbed the guy in the back, as you put it? This witness could have disclosed things about Mr. On Guard at any time. Why then would she wait uh, until there was a large audience before doing so? It's the same reason why Mr. Corda planned such an elaborate conference. 
Miss Dandridge wanted to cause Mr. Ongard as much damage as she possibly could. This witness bears ill will towards the defendant. OBJECTION! This isn't the Phoenix Wright's wax philosophical power, Awa. And please, stop slandering the witness. As I expected, Miss Andrew's testimony seems pretty solid. Really? Because to me it sounded a bit... a little wishy-washy. Wishy-washy? Well, I guess we'll see if I press a little more. You should know this by now. But you'll need strong, decisive evidence to make her talk. Got it, Chief. I'm going to pin you down this time, Miss Andrews. Okay, again, let's uh, look over this, because we were starting at the beginning. From the moment I saw the crime scene, I had a feeling that Matt was the murderer. I know what his motive was, but I don't have any way to prove I'm right. He didn't have an alibi for what he was doing at the time of the murder. That burn was torn off of Juan during his fight with Matt. Okay, that's the part she added, so it's probably here that something is, is wrong. Don't forget your profiles. Let's look. Uh, wait, let's look at, at the button first. There's something odd about it. Right from the costume, covered with gorgeous blood, funds and guards, Hakama. Jabroni badge. Okay, let's look at the profiles. About her. Thought you want to seem to have it all together. Okay, let's look again. Uh, and he didn't have an alibi for what he was doing at the time of the murder. I don't have any way to prove I'm right. The moment I saw the crime scene, I had a feeling that Matt was the murderer. Uh, okay, let's look. Attorney's badge, Mogatama, uh, press conference, model guide map, magazine clipping, Nada's camera. Guitar case, wine glass, crime photo, Gemma Ninja button. What's in the clipping? Oh, it's just some, uh, some gossip about her being intimate with uh, with the with the, the victim, one corridor. Let's see. We got Lotta's photo. Happened before the murder did, right? Yes, I suppose. I had a feeling that Matt was the murderer. Blah, I didn't have an alibi for what he was doing at the time of the murder. Happened was torn off of Juan during his fight with Matt. I'm at manager, so I, ha I felt that I had to protect him. Okay, she doesn't say anything that's against that. That's like... Against that. Okay, I still don't get that shit. Play Penumbra? I heard about that game, never played it though. You can request it though on the forums and I'll play it. There's something odd about the button if you come to think if it came up before the murder, don't you think? Oh, that, that has blood on it? I guess. Uh, anyway, okay, I'll save and just try and present the button. It is odd that it has blood on it, but then again, yeah, because the, the, the knife was post-mortem. So yeah, okay. That is kind of weird. But it was used as a tampon, clearly. Well, we should present her with that fact, I guess. Let's go. OBJECTION! Your Honor, what do you think the witnesses about the witness's statement? 
Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. It clearly, uh, contradicts the, uh, I thought. You don't sound very sure, Mr. Wright. Objection denied. God damn it, I don't think that one meaning points with the judge. Okay, fuck that. I have little enough HP as it is. Okay, so where... Well, I put it get it together. I know, I know. I, I need to, like, change... To do a mode change in my mind from Rayman to this. Can they find, like, real gooks in the courtrooms? I don't know. I bet they could. Anyway, ah, uh, turn off during a fight with Matt. Didn't have an alibi. She can't prove it. The morning's... I don't, okay, I don't think, like, if it doesn't work at this point, where club judge doesn't know it's legal. What is the dude that said he had a legal class tomorrow or something? He should be good at this. Uh, Tokyo Drift in this. Okay, if it was taken out during the fight... You don't know? Ram the bam, come on. Uh, I'll buy for at the time of the murder. She's a blonde of previous generation, fled to China to escape German SS war crimes. Clearly, but she's Russian. Did you hear my, my rendition of her voice? She's clearly Russian. Faith that Matt was the murderer. I know what his motive was, but I don't have any way to prove I'm right. That's kind of odd in itself. Maybe I should, like, repress everything or something? Go you know, through the evidence this take game takes place in LA. Yeah, but I said, it's, it's my opinion that it takes place in, like, a different universe where Japan took over the world. So it's in LA, but LA is still a part of uh, Japan. That's what I think. Go through the evidence, yes. Sounds like she has an Adam's apple Russian teeth. She's the daughter of the German soldier who escaped the gulag, I see. Anyway. Okay, got the press conference ticket. I want to confess something. And he made that walk. What's up with the walkie-talkie? It's a long story, but basically someone... You remember Maya? Someone kidnapped her and that's his way of uh, contacting us, the walkie-talkie thing. Uh, glossy photo. Korea's best Korea. No doubt about it. Uh, Stone from the night of the murder. Tell that articles were inside. We know that the old bag did it. An article from Tablet Gossip Land. Uh, a map of the Gatewater Hotel. And around the crime scene. Nothing weird about that yet. The guitar case was empty, the wine glass has Andrew's fingerprints. We have one court is murder scene. I think I should notice here? No. There is blood over here, right above the, the thing. Should I press anything uh, again or something? Like I went over the way over here. Okay, I got the Gemma Ninjas button, I got the suicide report for her mentor. I got the su attempted suicide report of hers. Was that all the events? No, there's more. Uh, suicide report, Juan's autopsy report, strangled with a scarf, then stabbed with a knife. There's the victim's blood and on guard's fingerprints and the grip, Gatewater is engraved. I lost a photo, the, a photo of the hallway after the murder. Hi, Dissu Man, and hi, Gola. And that's it. Okay, maybe... Maybe I should show the autopsy report? If he was strangled with a scarf, and then stabbed with a knife, then it shouldn't have blood on it. How do I prove that, though? Come on, someone help me here. We're getting stuck for, for no reason, really. Now, by for what was doing at the murder. Time of the murder. 
Well, he was sleeping, wasn't he? You said so. Not that part of the testimony. Okay. Check his fight with Matt. Maybe here? Yeah, we don't use guides. We use Chitango. Motive, gossip, paper. No, no, no. It goes the other way. Uh, her, her mentor died when she was the manager of the victim. So she tried to befriend the vi and no suicide note was found, and it is assumed that the victim took her mentor's suicide note. So she tried to get close with him so she could get the note back uh, because she was really, really dependent on her mentor. And we assume that that's also why she killed him. Either to get the note or as retribution or something like that. So I was up to report on the button statement. Okay, let's try that. Killed by strangulation, so the button wouldn't have been bloody before the actual death. Okay, I'll try that. Okay, let's give it a shot. We saved. Why do we care? Uh, where was it? Why don't you report? OBJECTION! This is the victim's autopsy report. It clearly states that the cause of death was strangulation by a scarf. Is this... strangulation? The knife stabbed to the victim was done after the victim had already died. Uh, and what does that mean? Let's examine the evidence. This button had the, has the victim's blood on it. Which would mean that it was ripped off when the costume... Of the costume? When? After the knife was stabbed into the victim. Exactly. Which means... It is impossible that this button was torn off during the victim's final struggle. Because the victim was strangled to death in that fight. <sighs> That's right, Miss Andrews. There is no way this button was ripped off during the struggle. This button was consciously pulled off of the victim's already dead body. Smash, smash, smash! Order, order! Where's the objection? What is the meaning of this right? So what if the button was torn off the body after the victim had already died? What does that change? Let me ask you one simple question, Mr. Edgeworth. Why was the button torn off? What purpose did that serve? What purpose? We now know this button was not torn off during the fight. And the murderer took the time and effort to purposely rip this from the victim's body. That would mean that the murderer had something in mind, wouldn't it? Mr. Wright, does this mean... Does this mean you know what the murderer wanted to do with the button? What was it? Obviously, to pin the crime on guard. There's only one logical reason for doing something like that was to pin the crime on Mr. On Guard. There's no way anyone would put a bloody button in their own pants. That's right, Mr. On Guard was set up. By the real killer, of course. Smash! And, and the real murder... murderer is... Well, Mr. Wright, who in the world is the real killer, then? Finally. I can't believe I managed to bring this trial all the way up to this point. Phoenix, you can't let your guard down yet. Not until the very end. The real killer, the person who planned to frame Mr. On Guard, is... Playing the black guy? Nah. We don't even have black guys here. I was seeing a black guy in this game, I think. It was, of course, my was Adrian Andrews. Take that! Miss Adrian Andrews. I choose you! You are Mr. Corridor's killer! Store? Smash, smash, smash! Order, order, order! Mr. Wright! This is a very great matter. Do you have any evidence that supports your charge? 
Any evidence? All of the evidence points to Miss Andrews. Sh you're preposterous. You, you can't stick any of that on me. I can't, can I? Would you care to test me? Then, then what about this knife? The knife was used to stab the victim after he was all—he has all—he had already been strangled to death. It was used to throw suspicion onto Mr. On Guard, naturally. A knife covered in the defendant's fingerprints could only be taken from his room. And the only one who had dinner with him and knew which knife to take was you. Then. What? What about the, the button that was found in Matt's Hakama? This button was removed from the victim for the victim's body after he had already died. The only people who could have done so were the were the person who found his body or the killer. However, if Mr. Ongard was the real killer. There's no way he would have put such incriminating evidence in his own Hakama. <sighs> the only person who could have put this button into Matt Angard's Hakama is the person who went to wake him from his nap, which is you yet again, Miss Andrews. I... I see. What about the empty guitar case? There's also another piece of evidence that incriminates Miss Andrews. That costume was used to hide the real killer's identity as they fled the crime scene. Now, who could have known that there was just such a costume inside the guitar case? It could only have been the person who prepared the costume for the victim. And that person is you, Miss Adrian Andrews. Yet, I... OBJECTION! But Miss Andrews's fingerprints were nowhere to be found on the guitar case. And it was you who proved that she was not wearing gloves at the time. Hmm, huh. Th that's right. That's because she did not intend on leaving any prints. If anyone had found out that she had touched the case, they would have asked her why. So to avoid leaving any prints, she used a towel or something else to open it. But, the glass of tomato juice is a different story. Miss Andrews purposely left her fingerprints on the glass to show that yes, indeed, she was the classic day's discoverer of a dead body. <laughs> and to top it all off, there is this photo. A photo of the killer as they exited the scene of the crime. No, res no reasonable person on earth can believe this is Nick... This is Nickel Sam... This Nickel Samurai is Mr. Man on guard. He would be too much short for his own... He would be too much short for his own costume if it was him. <sighs> Speaking of how tall people are... Miss Andrews, you're also kind of short in stature, are you not? P please stop. Well, how about it, Miss Andrews? Um... I love Trevin's speech, he tripped over his goddamn woods. Shut up, Lucas. I've got it this time. Hey, Joe. Miss Andrews? I... I... I refuse to testify. What was that? Th there is a law. It says I can't be forced to testify about something if it can inc incriminate me. Well, yes. You are absolutely correct, Miss Andrews. The law does provide us with a way to avoid self incrimination by allowing a witness to not testify if the testimony only can, o can cause damage to themselves. What? Pleading the fifth is not something most people would think to do on the spot. 
Actually, thinking back to yesterday in Mr. On Guard's room. Adrian Antros. Think hard about what we just discussed. Understood? Alright. That's it. That's when Francesca planted this idea into her head. She must have told Miss Andrews to not testify if things look bad. You did a good job proving everything up to this point, Phoenix. But there's still one thing you haven't done. Something I haven't done. <laughs> What's wrong, right? Are you finished already? Run out of evidence? Why are you so humorous, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm sure you realize this as well, Your Honor. But everything the good lawyer here has proven up to this point is meaningless. What? Everything you have proven is circumstantial. I've to accuse Robert Frost now. Circumstantial? Yes, circumstantial. You have yet to prove a single piece of definitive proof. Proof that Mr. Miss Andrews did in fact harbor a wish to murder Mr. Corridor. Rumble, 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 rumble. Smash, smash, smash! Miss Andrews, you... Did you want to kill Mr. Corridor? I believe this may lead to me incriminating myself. So, I will abstain from answering. But Miss Andrews, if you do that, it would be the same as admitting your guilt, don't you think? Maybe so, or maybe not. There is nothing to prove it e either way. Besides, you don't even know what crime I would be guilty of due to my silence. No! She's taking that defiant attitude again. Mia, what should we do? Somehow, you've been in the worst possible situation. Smash! I think we have reached a certain conclusion at this point in time. Hey, Gerbils. Or Gerbils, I'm not sure. Miss Andrea Andrews has refused to testify. In the defense's theory that she is the actual murderer, has not been fully substantiated with with solid, definitive proof. But, but that's not true! In this situation, there is only one thing this court can do. And that is to declare a recess. B recess I request that both the prosecution and the defense look further into this matter. And at tomorrow's trial... Tomorrow? We don't have a tomorrow. If we don't get a not guilty verdict today, then... HOLD IT! Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. Th that's not necessary. The trial... Please continue the trial. What are you sweating for? Your client is getting one more day to live, isn't he? That... That's not it. This isn't about that. Edgeworth? I know who is the... I know... I know you know who the real killer is. Please. Please, let the trial continue. If I don't get the verdict, then Maya... Huh? Smash! But it's impossible to continue as long as the witness refuses to testify. Now then, this court is... OBJECTION! It is not impossible for this trial to continue. <gasps> Mr. Edgeworth, what are you...? It's true, Miss Andrews holds the right against self-incrimination. However... If the topic of conversation was something unrelated to whatever she may be guilty of, then she has no right to withhold testimony. Yes, that is very true, but... 
Actually, there is one little thing that I'm curious about. Miss Andrews. <laughs> when you found the victim's dead body, you poured yourself a glass of juice. Duh. And... I can't help but think how unnatural that is. Usually, when one finds a body, they are shaken up, not stirring a glass of juice. So my actions were un unusual, but I've already... Before you speak, I want to state that you have re a reason behind your actions. I would like you to testify to that effect. Testify? Your Honor, I would like to request that the witness testify again as to what happened when she first discovered the victim's body. Whatever we may find out in this testimony should in no way implicate the witness. Hmm. I don't know what it is about Edward today, but I can't get a good read off of him. Is he friend or foe? I just don't know. Smash! The court acknowledges the prosecution's request. Miss Andrews, if you please. That glass of juice, I didn't really pour it for myself. I was surprised when I walked into the room and saw it in that messy state. And Juan, he was sitting slumped over and tired looking in the corner. When I saw him sitting like that, I thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. To be honest, I thought he had just fainted or something. So I went to pour him some juice. When I realized that he was dead, that's when I knocked the flower vase over. Hmm, so you pour that glass of juice for the victim. Why didn't you say your why didn't you say so in your earlier testimony? I didn't think I needed to include something so trivial. Phoenix, please be careful here. If you can't find anything wrong with this testimony, then there's nothing left. I know. Edgeworth, what the fuck is going on in that brain of yours? Now then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Okay, I guess we'll just press everything for now. Hold it! But there wasn't anyone else in the room, right? Of course not. Then who did you pour it for? Mr. Wright, there is a rhyme and reason for everything. Can you wait just a little longer for it to be revealed to you? In other words, right, be quiet and listen. Precisely. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh. Hold it! So, it was a mess? Are you sure it wasn't messy because of your fight with Mr. Corrida? OBJECTION! I understand your frustrations at not being able to prove your theory, however... Before you go accusing people of crimes, go find yourself some evidence. This our going streamer seems unresponsive. Well, no one is uh, actually talking to me. I'd like to get along with this, but no. I eat souls for lunch. It clearly says live, and I am live. Grr. And then, what did you see next, witness? Hold it! You're talking to me all fucking day, every goddamn day. Well, not today. I haven't said much to me today. And thanks, Koa Lockers. Slumped over? Duh. He was just sitting there with his head tilted forward. Eyes closed. 
He usually looked like he was sleepy. Is it just me or did that right there sound a little odd? Hold on, I wanna look at the, the crime scene photo. Let's see. I hear the law in order done done. If there's a reason, yeah, sure. Crime photo. Uh, well, he was slumped over. But the knife is kind of problematic. I mean, she didn't see the knife, really. I mean, the ball is right in front of him. I should show this somewhere. The ball is right in front of him. She should have seen the knife fucking protruding out of him. Question is where? Try looking at the corner. When I saw him sitting like that, I thought... The thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. I think here. I think over here I should show it. Let's see if I can save. Yeah, I can. Don't have lots of health, so I need to preserve it. Okay, from the save point. Okay, present this picture right here. The knife or the picture? What do you guys... The knife? We got two of us for a knife. Pretty sure you can read me without an account. I can, it's just harder for me to notice stuff that isn't in color. So you will get ignored more often. That's what I'm saying. Picture? Okay, everybody says picture. OBJECTION! So you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him? Yeah, not at all. Pleasant tricks never left, Snowfax. Even though this is what you say... Even though this is what you saw when you discovered the body. Yeah! What is the meaning of this? Isn't it obvious, Your Your Honor? There is a knife sticking straight out of Mr. Corda's chest. Anyone who saw this scene would have immediately thought that here was a dead man. Uh, um, let's... well, you see... I doubt a single person in the world would mistake this for someone who fainted. And then go nonchalantly, and then so nonchalantly go pour some something to drink. Y your point is, Miss Andrews, your testimony just now is it was all one giant lie. <laughs> and your lie has proven one thing very clearly: that you are the real killer. It looks like the defense has somehow brought the ugly truth to light. The defendant, Mr. Madeline Guard, is not guilty after all. Thank you, Anon2860. You should uh, come by more if you enjoy it. Yet, but it's impossible. You long. Miss Andrews, try to have some composure. It wasn't me! It wasn't me, I, I tell you! It was Matt! I swear it! He's the one who, who killed Juan! But you're the one who refused to testify. Your reason for not doing so was that you might end up incriminating yourself. Th that's because... Miss Andrews, I will give you one last chance. What exactly are you hiding that may incriminate you? I... I... I refuse to testify. Smash! Then there is no need for this court to continue any further. Mr. Madon Guard's innocence has been clearly demonstrated. Is it over? Have we have we found the truth at last? What's wrong, Phoenix? Usually, well, usually the real killer confesses his or her guilt. And now that I think about it, this is the first time someone hasn't. 
Smash! Now then, I would like to hand out my verdict for Mr. Mad on guard. OBJECTION! Your Honor, the prosecution feels that it would be a premature to be it would be premature to pass down a verdict at this time. For what? The reason is quite simple. This witness has yet to speak the absolute real truth. Smash, smash, smash! The absolute real truth? What are you? Witness, don't you understand yet? Huh? I don't know who planted this silly idea in your head. But as long as you protect yourself through your si through your silence, Madame God will go free, and in his place, you will become the guilty party. Th that's that's a lie. I, I don't believe you. What? I I was told if I spoke, if I spoke, then it would be all over, and Matt would never be declared guilty. What in the world is she talking about? She lost it? I... I can't speak about it. I am too scared. It's Francisca von Karma. Huh? Don't you remember, Phoenix? Miss Andrews lives, lives by gripping tightly onto the words of others. Because she doesn't have the strength to believe in herself. Then, then right now, Miss Andrews is... Yesterday she was tossed a lifesaver by Miss Von Karma. Don't say a word no matter what happens. If you do, Madame Guard will be acquitted. Miss Andrews undyingly believes in those words right now and is clinging on to them. Then what should we do? This this is the first time I've ever come across anything like this. But Miss Andrews has to be the killer, right? All we have to do now is is get our not guilty. That that is my only priority. It wasn't me. I'm begging you, please believe me. I didn't kill Juan. Help! Please, someone, help me! Smash! Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. The court can continue, like, can, can continue. It says so? It says the please schedule your event thing? Because I don't see it. Anonymous, do you mean... did you mean me? Is anyone else getting the... Please schedule your event thing? I can't schedule it, it's no problem. I just wanted to see if it actually works. No, I knew... I knew I was uh, going out of that shit, but I wanted to see if it actually works. Okay, uh... Lucas, could you try refreshing and tell me if it's still there? I'll... I'll schedule in the meantime, I just wanted to see... I'll extend. In the meantime, I just want to see if it actually works or not. And I don't see it, and it seems like most people don't see it, so it's not that much of a problem. So we'll have to fix that anyway. Okay, should be gone in a minute. Just extending myself. Go, should be gone real soon. Okay, maybe, okay, I guess it, it works, it's like slowly moves on to other people. Okay, if you guys should uh, either refresh now or wait a minute, it, it should uh, go down. Anyway. Pretend it's radio now. The court can't continue on this, therefore I'd like to hear what you intend to do. What I intend to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Right. 
I suggest you think very carefully about this. Think about what this witness did and what she did not do. And think about who is the real mastermind behind this crime. Who's the real mastermind? Isn't that obvious? There's no one else it could be except the woman crying over there. Right? Come now, what will you do? What kind of a man are you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Okay. What should we do, guys? Oh, it works, but my internet takes a while to join the video part portion of these streams, I see. Force? Force her to testify? Okay, everybody says force, let's go with that. Have to win a complete aqueduct today. There's no way around that. But I can't bring myself to do it like this. Not when she's making a face like that. Miss Andrews, I would like to know what you are what you are really hiding. M Mr. Wright, are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, Mr. Ongar would get an acquittal, but in his place, you would be found guilty. Is this, is this how you really want this trial to end? Acquit all, not acquit all. Acquit all? Like the, the... Should put more weight on the all? Acquit all. Acquit all. Acquit, ah. Acquit all. Acquit all. Okay, I'll try that. Be quiet. How dare you? You... You're trying to trick me! Crash! Acquittal? Ugh, someone will have to like, uh, go on that voice recording site, whatever. That's enough! I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear that the defense's theory is the truth. Y you're wrong! Hmm. Okaru, that's right. Such a shame. <gasps> I had hoped things wouldn't come to this, however... What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Andrews, since you absolutely refuse to testify, it falls on my shoulders to disclose this to the court. S stop Mr. Edgeworth? This witness... How should I put this? She has an illness. Sto? Oh, thanks, Arian. Hold on. I gotta listen to this. Acquittal. Acquittal? Okay, not acquittal, I see. Acquittal. Acquittal, 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 acquittal. Kind of like squirtle. Acquittal, squirtle. Are taking care of pumping, right? When to pause for this testimony. Okay, if you guys could uh, help Lucas bump, that would be really awesome. Okay. And because of this illness, she had tried to commit suicide in the past. S stop! Please stop! No matter how much you want to hide it, it's no use. I have the I had the evidence right here. Yeah, th that's the second part of the suicide report. The attempted suicide report. What will you do now, witness? You know what I am about to do, don't you? I will now reveal to the court the true nature of the pitiful woman known as Adrian Andrews. Secret of a codependent nature. Having other people know about it scares her more than anything else in the world. Please! Please stop! I beg you! If people found out! If people find out, I. I'll. Hmm. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. <gasps> Edgeworth, how can it be so cold? However, before you die, I will pull the truth from your breathing lips. 
No matter what I have to do. So, will you tell the, the court yourself, or shall I? Either is fine with me. I... I'll talk, but please, help me. Nothing matters anymore. When I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted, honest. When I realized he was dead, that's when I formulated my plan. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to Matt's room. And then, I stabbed Juan's dead body with a knife and ripped off the button. Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of an inconvenience. And that's why... That's why I ended up using the Nico Samurai costume. Stab the body with a knife? But why would you do that? Isn't it obvious? To pin the blame on a certain person. A certain cowardly man. What? What do you mean by all this? It might take this court a little while to understand, but... This is the truth. The real killer is Matt, that scumbag of a man. I'll never forgive him. He's trying to escape his guilt again, just like last time. Last time? So, Miss, An Miss Andrews tapped the victim, Juan Corridor, in the chest with a knife. However, she didn't do it with murder in mind. She did it with the intent of framing Matt on guard for the murder. And this, this is her crime. But what? How is this possible? I mean, wasn't Miss Andrews supposed to be the real murderer? Mr. Wright, please get over your shock and commence the cross-examination. Frankenstein. Yes, this is man. It's pronounced Frankenstein. Hold it! But you could tell from the state the room was in that there must have been a fight. Are you telling the truth when you say you did not know he was dead? He had a scarf tied around his neck. The scarf is a part of the jamming costume ninja's costume, so... So I didn't think anything about it was strange. His head was also tilted down a bit, so I couldn't see his face that well. That's why I thought I'd wake him up, and went to pour the juice. Hold it! Where's this plan you had? I knew right away the murderer was met. I knew because Juan, who was going to expose Matt's weakest weak point to the world. So Matt did this to stop Juan and silence him for good. That's when I thought I should forge some evidence and pin this crime on Matt. So the forged pieces of evidence were the knife and the button. The first thing that came to my mind was pl to plant the knife. Hold it! That was so you could get the knife, correct? The knife Matt used at dinner had his fingerprints all over it. I thought if I used that, then the police would certainly turn the right door at him. Matt was napping with his costume on at the time. He slipped in 
took the knife and returned to the scene of the crime. And then I stabbed Juan's dead body with the knife. Oh shit. Hold it! So you are the one to stab the victim with that knife. It gives me goosebumps to think about it now. What a horrible thing I did. But at that time, I couldn't control my own body. It moved on its own. Then, when I stabbed Juan's dead body, I suddenly realized something. If I used the button somehow, I could make Matt look even more suspicious. So you thought to rip one of the buttons off, and then plant it in Mr. Angard's Hakama. Yes, that's what I had planned to do. But things never go that smoothly, do they? Hold it! An inconvenience? There was a woman with a camera at the ready, loitering the hallway. I'm willing to bet my spikes that it was Lara. There was also a room, a woman with a ray gun at the ready pacing back and forth. That's my salt bag for you. I had already been caught and made into a big scoop for a certain weekly tabloid funds. So I couldn't very well go out looking like myself and get caught again. Hold it! You were the one who prepared that costume, weren't you? Duh. I took it from Global Studios. I also put it into Juan's guitar case the day before the award ceremony. You did this in preparation for the press conference, correct? Duh. Juan wanted to wear that costume and hold a press conference in it. He was going to disclose Matt's big secret there. And what is this secret? That I don't know. Anyway, I thought that if I were to leave Juan's room in the Nickel Samurai's costume, then people would think that Matt was the real murderer. I was very careful not to leave any fingerprints when I opened the guitar case. I absolutely did not want anyone to know about the costume. Smash! I think we've heard enough. So after that, you went back to Mr. Ongar's room and planted the button. Into Matt's Hakama? Duh. After that, I folded up the costume I was wearing and put it in a bag. Then I snuck it out of the hotel and got rid of it. My word. What does all this mean? Mr. Redgeworth, is it? The real criminal is met on guard! Yesterday, that woman prosecutor set me down for a talk. Francisca, huh? She said that I should, under no circumstances, confess to what I have done. But if we just kept quiet, then Matt would be found guilty for sure. I I had no choice but to believe in her words. Hmm. Hmm. Smash! What this witness has done is clearly unlawful. However, as long as her testimony stands, we can be certain she is not the real killer. But wait, your honor. The defense still objection. Right. It's pointless. At this point in time, it is not possible to indict Miss Andrews on anything. Yes, exactly. There isn't a single piece of evidence that points to her as the murderer. Smash! The cross-examination of this witness is over, and so is today's trial. You couldn't establish that the witness was the culprit. Please let it go, Mr. Wright. But, but
Mr. Edgeworth, please place Miss Andrews under arrest for further questioning. Uh, I don't really have an opinion yet. I need to see where this is going first. Understood, Your Honor. The prosecution will arrange for her detention immediately. That is all. Court is adjourned for today! Smash! Today's... Today's trial... It's over. And I didn't win an acquittal. What, did I say that right? Acquittal? Witness, would you mind if I asked you something? It's acquittal? Or what? Never mind. Huh? Acquittal. Okay, acquittal. Edgeworth? What is it? Before you leave the call today, I, I wondered if I might look at one thing. The card in your hand. Acquittal? Okay. Acquittal. 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 It's the card in your hand. It's had my interest for quite some time now. What exactly is it? Oh, this? Mr. Wright also asked about this. Although I didn't remember at the at the time you asked me about it, Mr. Wright. I remember just now. I found this in the room on that day. The room? That day? Duh. I found this card when I discovered Juan's body. It was lying right there next to him. You found that card next to the victim's body? I suppose I must have unconsciously slipped it into my pocket. But it's not as if this card has any relevance to Juan's murder, right? Yeah, I guess not. But it's still a strange card, if you ask me. But as far as a clue to this case, I don't see why... HOLD IT! WITNESS! THAT CARD! GIVE IT TO ME! HURRY! Ed Edgeworth? Do you have any idea what you have stupidly, yet inevitably done? This... I can't believe you hid this from me all this time! I... I didn't mean to... What is this all about? I've never seen such an emotional Edgeworth in my entire life. That card. When the world is it? And what does it mean? To be continued. Okay, and I guess this is as good a time as any. Stuff for today. Because uh, I'm getting kind of tired. Did two hours and almost a half. Uh, other hour. Uh, we will discover what this card means and why is Edgy so emotional tomorrow. What do you miss? We discovered that uh, the card she was holding with the seashell, apparently it has some huge sig Well, apparently she found it in the crime scene, right next to the body, and she just didn't tell anyone about it. Done, done. Okay, just for you, Gola. Just for you, because I like you, man. Uh, anyway, okay, now I want, I, now I stream for another hour before that. I streamed, uh, Rayman Origins. For some variety. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, this has been an anomaly streaming. If you guys enjoyed this, please bookmark us. Bookmark the site. Not Rayman, Rayman. Uh, I'm... Uh, tomorrow, the same time you can check the schedule. I already put it in advance. You can check the schedule to see what time exactly. I'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, oh, right, a bookmark cost. I stream almost every day. Uh, any guys who don't have uh, Chitango accounts, like Anon's temp names, please make a Chitango account because it's easier for me to remember your names that way when you come back. And also, whenever I, I if you want to tell me something or if I ask the viewers what to do, 
then it's much easier for me to see uh, to to see whatever you're saying and address it if it's in color or different uh, font style or font size or stuff like that. So please make it. it takes ten seconds. Fake email, no problem. Anything besides that? Oh, you can also register on our forums where you can request any game at all from me or any or any other streamer too. I've just scheduled for one hour. Yeah, I, I took it down for one hour and worst case and like worst case scenario for me or best case scenario, I just do some more if I feel like it. Because sometimes I'm uh, I'm I'm just getting towered before the two hours are over and I do and the shit the stream turns pretty pretty shitty. So I'd rather do commit to one hour and maybe have a bonus instead of doing uh, a shitty half hour and normal one and a half. Anyway, so what do I want to do? Yeah, I don't have to do a Chitango account. It's just easier for me and more convenient for you, I believe, but whatever. And yes, you can request games from me or any other streamer if you want to, and I promise I'll give them a look and maybe even play them. And you can also apply to become streamers yourself yourselves if you think you're funny, interesting, entertaining, and not easily offended or a little whiny bitch. <laughs> and suck at Vidya. Yes, being good at Vidya is not a uh, prerequisite. Why am I not on Thursday? Because I got plans uh, around that time, so I won't be able to, to make it this Thursday. That's the reason. If I'll see it's possible, then I might be able to do it, but it'll be much later. It'll be like uh, four, three, four hours later than usual. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone who bumped, who bumped for me. Thank you, everyone who helped me around. Thank you, everyone who watched. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, no, not a date at all. It's a school thing, actually. Got a date with the, the school principal, if that's considered a date, uh, as regard for my final project. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. This is a really, really good case. Really interesting. Uh, some interesting twists that we haven't seen until now and that's it so i hope to see you all guys all of you guys tomorrow bye guys